Hi everyone, this is Shannon from the Irishscrapper.com, and today I am using one of our uh, new bundles that I actually just purchased, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to play with, but I knew that when I saw this in the catalog that I needed to have it. I just love the potential um, in this bundle. So this is the Oh So Eclectic uh, stamp set. You can see there's some watercolor looks to this. Um, here are the thinlets that come with it, so a lot of um, dimension and, and options here, which I love. Um, so this is the card that we are creating, and I hope you can see um, the different texture. So the texture from the stamp that you get that kind of gives it that look, plus um, some of the thinlets that I used um, just to give the card a little bit more interest. And then I also stamped on the inside to just finish this off. Um, so let's go ahead and show you the products that I'm using. So I'm using this bundle. When you purchase the bundle uh, in the catalog, you save 10%, so just keep that in mind. All the products used in today's videos can be purchased in my online store at theirishscrapper.com, and you can click the Shop button. I'm using Elegant Ink Plant and Lemon Lime Twist. I'm also using the smallest circle out of the Stitched Shape Framelits. Um, for our sentiment. And then I've already done a bunch of the die cutting just because this card took a little bit longer um, to put together and I didn't want anybody to um, be watching all of those steps, but you'll still be able to get the gist. Um, so here are all of our pieces. This is kind of what a card kit looks like when I do um, club or uh, an online class. Okay, so our card base is the Elegant Egg Plant, 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. Uh, I have a piece of Whisper White that is 4 by 5 and a quarter. That's for the inside layer, okay, as well as for the front. So same, same size. Then I have a piece of Lemon Lime Twist cut down by a quarter. And then I have a few smaller pieces. So... Um, this eggplant is cut three, three by four and a quarter, and then this is two and three quarters by four, and this second piece of Whisper White is two and three quarters by four as well. But you can see that I've ran the flower die in this set, so let me pull that over so I can show you. That's this one here. I've just placed this on my Whisper White in multiple places and ran it through. So I've kind of created my own little background here um, and a bit of texture when I place it over the same size Whisper White. This could also be used with our new embossing paste, so keep that in mind. Um, so I've cut this piece with um, this thinlet here. So this doesn't cut it out like this. It will make all the little diamonds in your piece of paper. So I've just manually trimmed this out with my scissors and we're going to trim that down a little bit more as well. And then you can see my um, circle here from the stitched layering framelits. Alright, so let's go ahead and start assembling. I think I'll start by putting my um, piece of Whisper White on the front. Um, I was going to do the inside, but I just remembered I'm going to wait. Okay, so let's lay, lay that down. We can now go ahead and add our Lemon Lime Twist. Lemon Lime Twist is one of my absolute favorite new in colors, um, as you guys know, and it looks great with so many colors. An elegant ink plant is definitely one of them. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now with this um, piece that I've die cut or created myself, I'm going to put some snail in these gaps where I can fit it here. That looks good. And you can see here I came off the corner, and, and I'm okay with that. You don't have to worry um, about doing that. Okay, so we're going to lay that over. And then we're going to go ahead now and put this onto our smaller elegant ink plant piece. You could do a little sponging here. Like I said, that embossing paste would be gorgeous. 
So now we're going to layer this on top. We have a bunch of layers going on in this card. It's beautiful. Okay, we're going to center that there. All right, and then now with this piece, like I told you, that I, I hand trimmed out, I'm going to bring back my scissors and I'm just going to cut this down a little bit more. So I'm going to pretty much take off this piece here, which is about a finger's width. So I'm going to start cutting in. And so we're going to lay this across our piece there. So I'm going to grab my silicone mat. I'm going to flip this over. I have my fine tip glue here. And we are going to add, close up my fine tip glue. And then you know how I love to use my blocks to hold things in place. So I'm going to lay this down and I'm just going to take my H block and sit that right over our piece. We're going to set that aside. Um, we are going to do a little bit of stamping and die cutting. So let's grab a piece of Whisper White here. We are going to um, stamp our flower as well as our leaf. So you will notice um, in my original that I used, um, let me show you, I used the shadow kind of, the more watercolor look. Um, for my leaf. I think we'll do this one on this time and then we can decide which one we like the best. Um, I'm going to do the flower the same way. So we're going to stamp this in the elegant eggplant and then fill in um, with this stamp. Okay, so let's bring our elegant eggplant in. I wish these in a way were photopolymer so you can line them up a little bit better. I still need to practice um, the lining up. Okay, so I'm going to take my fill stamp now, this one here, and I'm going to kind of give an eyeball look about there, I think. I'm going to ink this up. I'm going to stamp off on a scrap piece, and now I'm going to stamp right over. So you can see I'm filling that in a bit. Now we're going to go ahead and do our leaf. And we will use the lemon lime twist for that. We're going to grab our Big Shot and cut these out. Okay. So here's my Big Shot. I have my magnetic platform, my precision base plate. And now I'm going to lay down my paper. These are pretty easy to line up. That was quick and easy. Now we can go ahead and begin to finish our card. All right, so um, I am going to use, I think, some glue dots, actually, because it's so quick and easy. Um, this leaf, these leaves are perfect size. going to lay that over just like that. We're going to grab some dimensionals. I think I'm going to use about three of them. Love my dimensionals. You get 300 in one pack. Awesome. I always try to add them to, to each of my orders so I never run out. It'd be sad to be without them. Okay. Then we're going to put our flower there. And then we have our little um, stitched label here. We're going to bring back that elegant eggplant and we are going to stamp Oh Hello Friend, which is super cute. I'm going to stamp that there. And then they have a bunch of um, little stamps in this set, which could be for this flowers center. Um, if you'd like. So I am going to use this one here and I am going to just stamp that on my tag as well. Just to add a little bit more of that elegant eggplant. And then we're going to use some dimensionals 
on this as well. We'll do two more. I like to have a nice even piece. No sagging sentiments. And then we're just going to put this off to the side, just like that. So you, Okay, so let's flip this over. We're now, oh, actually I'm going to stamp first. We're going to take that scrap piece of paper that we had. We'll bring back our flower. I really think this stamp set, you know, it's so forgiving. The way these stamps were created and the way they go together, um, I mean, that's what makes it fun and eclectic, right? Maybe that's why they called it that. Okay, so let's add some snail. And then we can add this to the inside of our card. And there you go. That completes our card. Isn't that cool? So let's see what you guys think. So here is um, my version with the different leaf. Here's the one I created the first time. So leave me a comment and let me know which one you prefer. Um, and I look forward to being back with you guys real soon. Like I said, uh, all the products that we use today are available in my online store. Um, and let me know if you do have any questions. Um, don't forget, it is bonus days. So for every $50 spent, um, you will receive a $5 a coupon code immediately via email to redeem in August. Um, so keep that in mind. There's also a very, I mean, amazing special um, to join my team of Lucky Stampers. Um, besides creating your starter kit, which you get to build for $99 and it's $125 worth of product, you will also get an Essentials um, starter pack which includes a bunch of products, so actually $72 worth of products for absolutely free. Amazing deal. I'd love to have you on my team of Lucky Stampers, so if you have questions about that, let me know as well. Um, you can join my team as a hobbyist or, you know, to start your own little business. Completely up to you. I'd love to have you either way. Um, so take care, guys, and I look forward to being back with you soon. Bye-bye.